station layer. The third part is going to get an amazing DJ One of the things that I've discovered in talking to folks like you is the fact that still today, when one looks at what the most common concept is that you're interested in talking about, security comes up probably more than anything else. When if I were to ask you what security meant to you, a lot of people would say, I'm really not concerned about it because after all, I have a, a firewall. Well, I'm here to tell you that security really does not equal a firewall. And the reason why I say that is if you think about what firewalls are, there are boxes. And if I was to make the analogy about what security is, I would say it's more of an umbrella concept, something that would be more akin to a process, like quality assurance, let's say, in the manufacturing world. Nobody really goes down to Walmart and buys themselves a box of quality assurance. And the same thing is true today. If you were to think in terms of security and information security, you really can't go down and buy yourself a box of security, and call that a firewall. If one was to look at their background, like myself, I happen to be a CISSP, a Certified Information System Security Professional. It's one of the few times in the world that you'll see that the C does not actually mean Cisco. It's an international certification. And if you were to look at some of the topics underneath this world of security, you would see that things like business continuity and disaster recovery planning were part of that mix. What you learn is that you see there's both a reactive as well as a proactive approach to these kinds of concepts. Business continuation being a proactive approach and really disaster recovery planning being a reactive approach. The same thing's really true in a firewall perspective. Firewalls are actually more of a reactive approach where you might have something like an intrusion detection system versus an intrusion prevention system. But one of the things that we learn about security is that, if nothing else, we want to understand the CIA triad. Now, the CIA triad stands for concepts of confidentiality, meaning we want to protect the information to ensure that only those people that have access to it are allowed to have access to it. So, for example, in the medical space, you might look at regulatory compliance issues like HIPAA, ensuring that only certain patient record information is maintained as confidential. Everybody can't get access to it. Now that's different from something like integrity, where if we say somebody has integrity, we know that we can trust that individual. Same thing is true in the data world. If we were to think in terms of the data having integrity, we would think about regulatory compliance issues like Sarbanes-Oxley and rules along those lines to ensure that the data is maintained in its integrity. And that's, again, different from something like the availability of the information, where the information has to be available to those people that need it when they need it. And this is where we get into concepts like virtual private networks and so on. Well, that kind of discussion really means that we have to talk in terms of the various tools that are available in order to, information, to ensure that the information is maintained in a secure manner. That's why we call these info security or information security or infosec, often referred to as infosec. Well, so the tools that we might want to consider would be tools like physical tools, administrative tools, or technical tools. Again, what we see is that tools like firewalls would be an example of technical tools where virtual private networks might be an example of technical tools, but the passwords that we want to use might be more of an administrative example. The point that we want to make here is that when one talks about information security, first of all, it's more than just a firewall. What underlies it are key principles like confidentiality, integrity, and availability, and the fact that you have a different set of tools to do different kinds of things. This means that information security concepts can be incredibly complex and have a lot of moving parts associated with it. Now, I know we spent such a short period of time giving you an introduction to information security, but this concept of confidentiality, integrity, and availability, the CIA triad, has more details behind it. So if you wanted to explore that further, like on our Expert Tech CD, why don't you click here, and we'll go into a little bit more depth on the CIA triad.
Okay, then we don't